full count when the guys came and kind of introduced this trip to us. One thing that Reed said was just put your yes on the table and be open to it. Coach has been working on this for years and it was, he mentioned this to me during my recruiting. He was like, this is what we're trying to do here and to make it a team thing. Our goal is to be able to take our, our majority of our team down there. I was going down kind of with my heart open to let God show me what was important in my life because kind of here at home everything's, you know, everything's pretty busy. You have school, you have baseball, things can get a little disoriented and your mind can maybe distort what things are super important in your life. Still a tad bit nervous, uh, went through, but right when we got on the bus and like you saw everything, I got so excited. Started seeing the mountains and we started getting closer towards the mountains, like my jaw dropped. That was really cool. I'll tell you what, the, the language barrier is hard, personally. Um, Sam was able to help out a lot with that. Let's get a little translation. Here we go. One of these. One of these. Two of them. So I've got to the old property man. Much more. Much more. Much more. Come on. Hey, David. It's the first time I've been to a Spanish speaking country. Having achieved proficiency in Spanish, I, I finished my Spanish minor last semester, and this trip I actually felt very capable to communicate with, with kids, with guys that we were playing, with locals in the community, and that was a really cool experience to kind of serve almost as a translator for a lot of the guys on our team, but also just to be able to practice that skill. Perfecto. You can hit 10 and substitute whenever. Kirk, we're through one inning. How are we feeling so far? Get off me, baseball. Oh my God. Brian is that immortal. And make sure you do this. Bring your own sunshine. Yes, sir. Bring your own sunshine. We're hosting a kids camp that Friday morning. And we walk in and there's literally like, we walk out to shortstop and there's like a rock, like the size of my head. We drove 20 minutes out of the, the town of Mazante that we were staying in. And they were having their, their men's league game and the field just spawned. In the middle of the mountains and there's cows and goats and dogs walking across the field with cardboard white bases that they would just drop down. This is what these kids are playing with, and this is how they have so much fun playing on this surface. They're honestly just so, I feel like they're so joyful playing the game. As I remember one time, kid hit a ground ball, got out, and he's like laughing with his coach on the way back to the dugout, and I was thinking like, man, if I did that, I'd be, I'd be mad. In the first game against Nueva Segovia, I was getting really worked up about some of the umpire's calls clearly, trying to blow the game for us and one of the, the players on their team, who I'd been talking with throughout the game, turned around and, and told me this is, just, this is just part of the game. He told me it's not that serious. It's, this is just supposed to be fun. The, the bad game I had, like one of the Nicaraguan kids came up to me and he said like, you pitch great. Like, I, like, I know you're just being nice, but thank you. I really appreciate it. He was like, no, like I'm being serious. Like I don't really care what happened out there. Like it was just cool seeing you pitch. Like I can tell you like you're really good. And I was like, well, Thank you. I was like, thanks, gracias, hombre. Uh, I think it was honestly a breath of fresh air. Like we were down there to have fun, but we were also down there to meet the guys we were playing against and to, to share the gospel with them. And so it was like a cool experience to just go and play again. Trips like this really change your life in that perspective. And it's not just, oh, we're just going to play ball. We're going to, you know, lean into the Lord and grow closer with our teammates, which you know, might benefit us on the field, but it's also going to teach us things about ourselves. And two or three days into the trip, we had a night where we wrote down sins or thoughts, whatever that we'd been struggling with on a piece of paper and threw them in the fire. And then prayed on our own for a while about those things, having let them go. And immediately it was, it was eye-opening to me of what I too was getting out of the trip. In that prayer, that was the first time I'd ever really heard God spoke to me about something that I had been praying about. Yo, Blake, we're gonna we're gonna rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice and be glad in it. It's the day the Lord has given. Play some, go. play some ball. I feel like the trip itself really broke down a lot of barriers between guys, and it created a vulnerability like within everybody to realize that you're going through the same thing that I am, and it made all the guys really like think deep down about what they were doing in their lives and what their priorities were, and it it creates a bond between you that like you can't create anywhere else. I would, you know, challenge you to find another place that's doing something like that. But, you know, going with a whole team, um, that's just crazy. And it was awesome.